Hello and welcome back to more Pokemon White version. Oh, wait. I actually need to have the game open in this. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> ah, yeah. Well, wasn't necessarily the plan, I guess. I automatically took a step into this sand. Chocolate, then we have. Oh, yeah, wonderful. Pokemon weak to water, yes. This could not have been better planned if I actually did plan it. Here's some work up. So we can potentially one shot this dumb Pokemon. Good. Next use like Feather Dance to lower my physical attack, please. Okay, so I guess that doesn't work for you anymore. Not against you anymore, the sand. You've been protected. By the power of that. Oh god, fuck. Well, note to self. Heal. Next turn, heal. This turn, heal. There you go. Speeding up the healing a little bit. Oh god, son of a... Well, I mean, I did do two of them. And now I've only one shot at this. Ow! Oh, that's what two workups did for me. Uh, you fucking worthless bastard. Holy shit. Alright, do what, you I used two workups, and for what? For what? Nothing, that's for what? That did more, I think that did more damage than the action. Oh my god, I'm so sick of this, Duckla, die. Why? I kinda wanna just go and heal, god damn you, woman. You had a water type, you give me, okay. I thought I needed to have burn heal, looking at the fact that that's what they always say, right? I better have burn heal, okay, bell still in effect. Time to go to healing. Okay. Why does that always happen? I feel like that always happens. When I go into my bag to see if I have a repel out or not. Um. I just avoid everyone. Oh. But yeah, it's like when I have a repel out, it's like, oh. Two steps later, it wears off. Wears off. It's like, get the fuck out of here, dude. What level are you, by the way? Oh, you are level 22. Oh, I already beat you. The first person to come to me, I'm so moved, I'll give you this. I was expecting black glasses or something like that. I could. Actually. Let's see here, what kind of Pokemon do we have around here? There's a Dwebble somewhere. A Maractus. Alright, I think I need to go for a female backpacker. Aha. Oh, man. Like, nothing ever goes my way in these Pokemon games. Like, nothing. I have a plan in my brain on how I'm gonna do things. And then the things don't happen. Like, for example, against the Lenora battle. She always uses hypnosis. Then when I restarted that, uh, redid that battle and gave my Pokemon a Chesto Berry, it was like, oh, now I'm not gonna use it. It's like, but why though? I, I specifically put a Chesto Berry on this Pokemon so that it wouldn't fall asleep. So annoying. So annoying. So very fucking annoying sometimes. Alright, now I can fight whoever the fuck I want. We have, I think we only have like psychic type trainers left. And maybe a backpacker or two. But mainly... I'm not gonna go in there yet. Not at the moment I don't need it, but at the moment I do. Now everything can change in a moment's notice. Shh. 
She-Hulk is actually making me thinking about quitting the MCU because of how bad it is. I mean, not just She-Hulk, it's like everything, but it's mainly She-Hulk. It's so bad. Like, it's like, I feel like it, like, promotes this thing that I, that I think is terrible called hookup culture, where basically sex means fucking nothing. And it's like, no, that's bad. I feel like there should be meaning behind that shit, but... I guess hookup culture is different. I mean, when when abortion got banned, it was that uh, well, not necessarily. I did it get fully. I don't even know if it fully got banned. But like when abortion got like banned, I guess it was like oh, yeah, no. You know that's gonna be the end of hookup culture because now you can't just get fucked and then just if if you're pregnant, just get an abortion. No. And I was like probably the only person who was like yes, no more of that bullshit. Wow, even, I just noticed, like, even with the uh, Eviolite that, uh, or Violite, I don't know how you pronounce that shit, still did so much fucking damage. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it feels like she is promoting that shit too. Oh, three dates, let's fuck him. It's like, what? You know, oh, what am I looking for in a guy? A king-sized bed and a sturdy back. It's like, that's all sex-related. It's... It's supposed to be funny, but I don't, know, I don't see the joke. I just don't. I mean, I feel like three dates, it might be okay, but like, you know. Then she gets all hooked up about, oh, he didn't call me back. Duh. The only thing you wanted from him was a body to fuck. That's it. You just wanted him to plow you, and that's all you wanted from him. Fuck off with your tears. Well, while I'm here, let me just heal up. And make my Pokemon feel a bit better. And if you're wondering, oh, why are you watching she if you think it's garbage? Well, it's because of the MCU. I watch everything in the MCU. But normally, at least there's some entertainment value that's attached to projects. Now there's not. Which annoys me. And I don't like the main character, which is kind of an issue if you're making a show, or if your main character is fucking unlikable. Because last time I checked, um, you know, you're supposed to be rooting for the main character, and not despise her. Like I said, the only thing that she has going for her is her looks. Outside of that, she's a piece of shit character. No character development, no nothing. I got some rocks for a Wubat. Rocks the tombing of the oh. I didn't do as much as I thought it would, Thrillbur. What the hell? That did more than I expected. What the hell, Thrillbur? Come on. Don't be an idiot. It is over already. You are entirely correct, good sire. Alright, let's see here. Let me just go up here and uh, I don't think I've battled you because you're moving. Everyone in here who I haven't battled yet is moving. Because everyone that I have battled can't move. Psychic low. Psychic has hit a new low. Alright. Indeed it has. Fucking hell, pulls out a ghost type. What the fuck? Uh oh, wait a minute. My ability is now going to change to... Uh, I don't even know what my ability is. It's like a, yeah. Sandbrush. What the hell does Sandbrush do? Can I see that or not? Boost the Pokemon speed in a sandstorm so you were faster. Metal Claw. Didn't matter. You were already faster. It's a Yamask anyway, so. Not, not expecting too much. Muna. Sure, I'll switch. I'll switch into Scraggy. I mean, mainly once I mainly want Scraggy for like the downstairs department. I beat you. I beat you. I beat you. I think I beat you. Yes, 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 yes. I think this might be the last trainer. I'll do a look around. 
before we head into the castle of the relic the portion department the portion what the portion what the hell is it the portion yeah the relic castle portion moxie oh god i need to find that sigilly fucker immediately because uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, you continue moving when I've beaten. What? Why? Just in case, let me put Victini up in the front slot of the party. I beat you. Oh, I think I'm done. Let me go up here. See if there are items up here. I'm not gonna search for like, aha, hidden items. A hard scale in case I need to get a move relearned. Nice. That's indeed very nice. Just like that Transformers figure that I'm kind of thinking about picking up, which is called Nicey, which is basically a sex bot version of RC. There are two things I've learned about quicksand. If you try to walk through the middle, you'll fall. And if you try to run through it, you'll fall. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking of like searching for it and picking it up. It's basically a sex bot version of RC, but the fact that they even made it makes me... F I find it hilarious, and to be honest, it is the best RC. That's kind of G1 based, because every other generation 1 RC figure... Well, I, I don't know about all the third party ones, but I mean the main ones suck. Horrible. My goodness, that Masterpiece RC, MP like 51 or whatever the fuck it is, is shit. Just god-awful garbage. Oh, wait, that moved there. <gasps> oh my god, if you used that first turn, I'd be fucked. But because you didn't, you're fucked. Let me get more powerful as I end the battle, because I'm done. But yeah. Yeah, just for shits and giggles, I'm thinking about picking it up. But, yeah, I mean, most of the RC figures, because RC's Generation 1 design is, and... Um... I know I'm gonna piss off some G1 fans, but it's garbage. It's actual shit. No matter how you look at it, because... That figure, I mean, that, that design, it's like a slender female body. Design that you get out of a car like if you're gonna go for a fanbot in that sense You should give a give the, the character a Design that works around it like you know, I don't know a bike Which is already kind of feminine in design in that sense, so It's easier to do that's where Transformers Prime got the right idea. I mean the figure still wasn't anything amazing, but Maybe also because it was a little bit too big. She's supposed to be a bit smaller. But yeah. And also because Hasbro and Takara have not... Uh, have never actually really used the black magic design that, you know, third-party companies use. Like, I saw, like, a review of, like, a Unique Toys Challenger, which is a figure based on Age of Extinction Opti and last night, in that sense as well, Optimus Prime. And the robot mode, like, disappears mostly into the vehicle mode, and the vehicle mode disappears entirely into the robot mode. Well, mostly. There's, like, some small parts, but... Eh, who gives a fuck? Here, you need to walk. You can't run. Trainer, you still can't move ahead, because there's too much sand. I will do my best to remove the sand. Give me a second. I've been carrying two Pokemon fossils, but they're just so heavy. Would you take them off my hands? Which one do we want? Ladies and gentlemen, the choice is now. Vote in the comments which one you, I, you want me to pick up, and I will probably ignore it because uh, this video okay, was recorded on the 30th of September of 2022. So whichever one you say, well, it's not the one that I'm picking because I'm probably picking Bloom. It is the fossil of a bird Pokemon that lived in the ancient in an ancient forest, but they say it couldn't fly. Wait, what? Wait, I'm old Oh my god. Oh my god. No, they didn't. <laughs> Cerebi, what have you what are you showing me, my friends? 
Oh my god, are you who are, are you are, are you are? Give me a second. Oh my god, they did it. They fucking did it. Again. Alright, we have a new episode of Pokemon Journeys. We have episode 127 came out. It's Go meets Professor Magnolia again while Ash meets her for the, wait, for the first time. He never met her before. Ghost Eternatus is revealed to have been unsealed. Go and Ash. Ash and Go split up from each other. Wait, so. So. This marks the latest point in a series where Ash meets the regional professor of the concurrent generation. The Masters A tournament announcer narrates the preview for the next episode. Wait, so. Go is not gonna watch Ash vs. Leon. Also, the next episode is a recap. We have Climax, the night before the decisive match, Ash vs. Leon. Which, um... From the... Fr I wanna see the preview, if I can. If I can, mute this shit too. Pokemon JN128. Let's see here. Is there a preview for it? Okay, let's see. I'm, I've muted it. I'm looking at it right now. I'm just watching it. But I've seen this before. Wait, it's the Mass Z. That was him versus Diantha. That's Leon versus Diantha. Ash versus Cynthia. I... Yep, Ash versus Cynthia. We're getting another recap episode. Oh, no fucking way. Wait, they really sent Go to finish Project Mew in off-screen land. Wait, well, is that true? I haven't watched the episode. I'll do it, like, tomorrow, but still. What? The flying fuck. Oh my god. I hate journeys. I, I hate journeys. This is what happens if you, like, run. Let me out, let me out, let me out. No, please. That's what happens when you run. Oh my god, they're doing another recap. Fuck off, you stupid. F oh my god, I hate Jury so much. Oh, this will go down officially. It's officially right now confirmed. The worst Pokemon anime in the, in the history of the Pokemon anime. For fuck's sake, even with the stupid shit that Best Wishes does, which isn't that good, even though the games that it's based on is f are fucking fantastic. Um, uh, these games and Black Two White Two. We're getting a fucking <laughs> Dude, not a recap, but like, look, best wishes or Black and White it aren't as good. isn't really that good. Okay, it's like they kind of wanted to put Ash back to square one, which was never a good idea to begin with, especially after what he did in the Sinnoh League of taking out a Darkrai and a Latios. Double knockout. I still count that as a knockout. So. They're like, oh, what would be the best thing to do? Ah, uh, let's nerf him completely. Like, I don't even mind the whole battle against Trip. Sure, Snivy should have exploded the first quick attack that was unleashed against it, but still. Oh, crap. But yeah, like, but still, it's like, okay, Zekrom literally took away its power. But the fact that Ash, just Pikachu, loses to a Pampor, which it's weak to. Pampor is weak to Pikachu. And Ash lost. What? Okay. I mean, in my head headcanon, um, Pikachu was completely nerfed by Zekrom's lightning. That's the only explanation that I have. But then they also make Ash a dumbass. And I don't... I, I don't have, like... I don't have any explanation for that shit. I do apologize. But, like, what the fuck? I have no... No explanation for why the hell that even happened. You know?
<laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> I see someone on Twitter who's like, thinking about it more, Ash kind of deserved to lose the Kalos Lake. That Greninja was using cut in the finals. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it was. And yes, Ash deserved to lose that battle. Fuck him. I'm going back to Nate Green City to hatch the, the word, like to revive the fossil. But yeah. It's gonna take a bit. Even with speed up, I mean, look at how fast this goes. Jesus. But yeah, it's just like. They have no idea what to do. And apparently, a Go is gonna do Project Mew off screen, I guess. I don't know if Ash and Go will ever meet again. It's like the next time we meet, you know? Apparently, this is what they say, actually, at the end of the episode. This is apparently... It's a promise. Next time we meet, we'll meet with smiles on our faces. No. So, Go is now written out of the show? He's not coming back anymore? You kidding me? Is that it? Is that really it? Did they really just write Go out of the series? Like... He's not even gonna fucking watch Ash going up against Leon. What the hell? Jesus. I don't know why I went into the Pokemon Center. Now that I think about it, I have nothing to do here. Oh, by the way, I don't like Wiglet. I think I already talked about that shit. I don't think Wiglet is a cool Pokemon. I think it just looks like a... Come. It looks like sperm. That's as easy as I can make it. Research your Pokemon files is here. Are you have a fossil, don't you? Shall I turn him? Yes. Alright, I will turn the plume fossil back into a Pokemon. Fossil you gave me, turn it to back into a Pokemon. This is Arkan. Please take good care of it. Yay! Fuck. Why did I? No. Well. I'll be right back. <laughs>